Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and you know we talked about the uh, TPM uh, chips on on PCs and the minimum requirements so many times for Windows 11, and it's obvious that this is one big part of why Windows 11 is maybe not gaining momentum as fast as it could. Uh, but you know the questions arise today. Somebody uh, actually more than. I did three or four viewers that actually, um, as I was talking about the fake TPM message or the bug in, in the Windows Security app that tells you that um, if you go and look at Security Processor, that you know it tells you that t there's no TPM in your hardware, and it's of course a bug that is um, not showing the right info on the uh, Windows Security app. Um, many said, well, is that the only place and the only reason it's used? Um, and, of course, also kind of a two-part question that arose, arose from that was, you know, then did Microsoft kind of, you know, put this as a, um, you know, a minimum requirement for nothing? Or, you know, um, the um, TPM chip can be used in many ways. So um, it's not just there. There's nothing in Windows itself when you're a standard user that really, you know, uses the TPM chip in, in any way. Uh, TPM chip can be used if you are one of those uh, that want to encrypt folders or encrypt uh, a drive. Uh, one of the things that um, Windows has is BitLocker. If you're on Windows 11 and you turn on BitLocker, which will let you encrypt entire drives or folders. It does use a TPM chip. It uses the security of the TPM chip to create the key for the encryption to keep you safe. So there are things like that that will use a key. Uh, there are some security apps that you can download and install that do use TPM for security purposes. That said, the average user, the average person watching this video doesn't use any of that, which means TPM is there, but it's unused, which also means, uh, yeah, it's kind of an arbitrary minimum requirement. That in the minimum requirement for the, the, the processor, you know, stopping at eight generation or later. Um, technically, it should have been, and, and I think, you know, that's really how it should have been addressed. They should have said, look, we would like you to have a TPM chip for, um, you know, a trusted platform module chip for security reasons. But if you don't have it, these are the features that won't work. And they could have just said that and, you know, sent us Windows 11 and just warn us that, oh, by the way, you're, you don't have a TPM chip. These are the things you can't use. Uh, they didn't, and it's obvious they didn't because they probably in some way kind of wanted people to move ahead in their PCs and technology. Part of it for the reason of probably helping the sales of PCs, uh, it's, it's obvious that you know, Microsoft and, and PC manufacturers are kind of working a little bit hand-in-hand, hand. but also um, I think one of the other reasons that Microsoft might have wanted us to move on to other technologies. And that one would be more of a understandable, although not necessarily, you know, the minimum requirement might not be placed at the right place. It's uh, the fact that because Windows has, you know, all these legacy technologies in order to keep the systems compatible for old old hardware, old software. It has to, you know, bring into Windows a huge baggage of code that if you remove some systems, if you remove older systems from, you know, running, you can kind of clean it up a little bit and say, well, we don't need these, this code, this code, and this module anymore. Makes it easier for Microsoft to move ahead uh, because Microsoft is definitely stuck with the baggage of having to keep old technology alive in Windows. And that is part of the reason a lot of things aren't happening. Part of the reason why the control panel is still there. 
Um, so I think it's part, you know, helping make PC cells higher in part because maybe they want people to move on to newer technology also. But definitely, uh, you know, for average user, TPM isn't used. Um, it's just there, sleeping. Um, and, you know, that minimum requirement of 8 gen for CPU or Intel CPU is very arbitrary also. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.